most important to me I mean what's most beautiful and exciting to me it's not so much the castle as the viewpoint that you get to see here I mean, let me show you this this is what's called being above Lisbon hi guys my name is Peace and I'm traveling around the world so let's peace out and go so I am now on the way to a beautiful castle South George Castle let's see here we go already see something over here it's very hot today and humid also not so much humid but the sun is hitting from above as it should I guess and here you can see already the uh, walls of the castle and what's so beautiful here is all the valleys around have these little cafe houses all over in every corner and everywhere you go and it's so boutique and nice and charming here's the main entrance to the castle all right let's go in let's go see what's going on in here oh this is some kind of music instrument somebody's playing here but he's not here now Yeah. Right, so the entrance to the castle is actually right here. Let's see if uh, the admission is interesting at all. All right, so I'm at the South George Castle, which dates back a uh, very long time to the uh, first century BC. And even before that, I think, there's still some parts of the castle left. But you know something, what's most important to me, I mean, what's most beautiful and exciting to me, is not so much the castle, as the viewpoint that you get to see here let me show you this this is what's called being above lisbon What I find extremely interesting is every time I went to a castle, no matter where, whenever I went to Scotland, to all the different castles, or whenever I go to any castle anywhere in the world, the real estate, the real estate of the castles is always at the best spot of town, all right? Either very high above the city or close to the water, close to the sea, and it amazes me. It just shows you, gives you a little understanding on the lords or rich people who used to live in these castles, what they were thinking about and how much money they had and how filthy rich they were and how much power they wanted in their hands. All right, but this is amazing. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at this. Where else do you see that? This is gorgeous. So here we are at the castle again from the outside. And look what I found here. Look at this beautiful. the garden of the South George castle let's see where these steps are taking us to oh man are they hard to climb quite a little I guess the people who lived here in the first century BC had long feet <laughs> 
I guess the oh so that's a rooftop okay that's it I thought something interesting is going to be here I guess not okay you can hear the pickaxe in the background and right there's the one shouting calling I guess they're calling for me because I left them don't you think all right these are the walls of the castle this wall up on top is reminding me a little bit of the wall of the old city of Jerusalem kind of interesting which by the way the one who built the old uh, walls of the old city of Jerusalem was the Turkish Ottoman Empire and uh, it seems to be the same uh, style this place is huge much bigger than I thought and I guess it would be interesting to check out a little bit the uh, history of this castle which is huge and has a lot of yards and walls all over the place I guess this wasn't just a castle of rich people but this was more like uh, somebody or some power who governed uh, above uh, Lisbon and Portugal for a long long time otherwise I don't think somebody private would have be able to build such a powerful place all right let's see what we got over here okay so I am at the top of the walls of the South George Castle again I'm so sorry I don't know much of the history but as I said before there's probably a very ancient history to this place and I'm certain that the people who were here were in a governed position otherwise it makes no sense whatsoever all right let's see Aha. All right, so now I entered the Tower of Keep, which is called, which they used to, I guess, look from here or sit around and have a beautiful chat from this window, looking out to Lisbon. Okay, so now I'm here at the archaeological site of the castle as you can see and uh, let me tell you one thing if you are coming to Lisbon I do not recommend actually that you pay your turn hard earned euros to visit this castle because the castle itself is quite boring but it pays in order to come up and see the viewpoint that I showed you before for that it does pay to come although there are a few other places that you can have a beautiful viewpoint for free to see uh, Lisbon's rooftops but uh, as I said before the castle itself is quite boring and nothing much to see so take it into consideration okay. 